Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on page 470 in your math book, page 470. It is in the middle of our lesson 8.6. Last time, remember, we stopped here and we did some extra practice. Well, today we're going to finish up lesson 8.6 and then we'll work on our personal math trainer. Okay, so just a reminder of what we were doing the other day. When we are adding numbers together, the first thing we, that we need to always do is look at our ones and see, do we have too many ones? If we have a lot of ones, we need to see, is there a group of 10 that we can make, right? And so what we did was we would find our group of 10 and we'd circle them. So, right, this is seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we would take, circle them together and we'd see, hey, that's another group of 10 and we still have ones by themselves. So instead of three tens, now we have four tens and five ones, right? Four tens, five ones. That makes the number 45, okay? That's what we were doing on all of our problems, okay? And then we were rewriting them so that they were nice and neat. Today, we're gonna work on word problems that also might have too many ones. So we are going to be drawing and solving, okay? But we need to be on the lookout for too many ones. So let's get to our word problems. Kobe puts 24 daisies and eight tulips in a vase. How many flowers are in the vase? So let's go back. Kobe puts 24 daisies and eight tulips. Daisies and tulips are just different types of flowers. And he puts them in a vase. How many flowers are in the vase? So this is an adding problem because he puts something in, daisies in, then he puts tulips in. So we need to see how many does he have all together. So let's write out our problem. 24 plus 8 equals what? Let's draw it out. 24, how many tens? Two tens, how many ones? Four ones. Okay. Plus eight, how many do we draw out for eight? Well, we just draw out eight. Okay. 24, so two tens, four ones, plus eight. Remember, I know I draw fast, so if you need to pause at any time to finish your picture, go ahead. Now I need to look. Hey, do I have a group of 10, right? Are there 10 ones? Look how many ones there are. So let's see. Hmm, well, this is four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hey, I do have a group of 10. I'm going to circle that. Hey, I have a group of 10. So how much do I have now? I have one 10, two, and this makes three. Three tens, right? One, two, this is a group of three. How many ones do I have by themselves? Two. Right, see those two not in the circle? So, what number do we make? 32. So how many flowers? 32. Okay, so we drew our problem. We saw that there was too many ones. We circled them to make that group of 10. So we have 10, 20, 30. 30 plus two more is 32. All right, let's try this one. There are 27 ducklings in the water. 20 of them come out of the water. How many ducklings are still in the water? So let's look at that again. There are 27 ducklings in the water. 20 of them come out of the water. Hey, wait a minute. There's 27 in the water, then 27 come out of the water. Well, what kind of problem is that? Minus problem, we're losing some, aren't we? Right? 
we're not getting more they're coming out so we're getting they're we're losing some how many ducks ducklings are still in the water so this is a minus problem so let's write that out 27 minus 20 equals all right let's draw our picture how many do we start with 27 so two tens seven ones all right it's a minus problem so are we drawing more what do we do for minus we cross off, right? So we are crossing off 20, or look at our problem. How many tens is that? Two tens and zero ones. So let's start first. How many tens do we cross off? Two tens. How many ones? No ones, right? Zero in the ones place. So we had 27. We crossed off our two tens, right? 10, 20. How much is left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven are left. So remember, these are ones, so it's only the number seven. Seven ducklings are left. So be careful. Watch those signs to see what should we do. All right. This says, write the missing add-in. 46 plus something equals 52. Hmm. Well, if we have 46, how many more do we need to get to 52? Could we count one, right? So let's see, maybe we can even draw this out. Hmm. We have 46, right? If I add one more one, how much does that make? So 46, 47. Another one makes 48, 49, 50. Oh, look at this. We need 50. Two. So if this right here gives us 50, right? 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. If we need 52, how many more do I need to make? Two more, right? 50 plus two is 52. So how many, how many ones do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So 46 plus 6 gives us 52. So we counted on until we got the right number. We drew, right, until we got to 52. All right. My first graders, you're going to try this one on your own. 34 plus 8. And then make sure, look at those 10s first. Can you make a group of 10? Right? You're going to solve, write your answer, draw your picture to match so that it's nice and neat. Hit play when you're ready to check. If you're hitting play, you're ready to check your work. So let's see. We had a whole bunch of ones, didn't we? There was eight ones right here. Eight, nine, ten. So we could have circled these. Now it doesn't matter how you did it, right? How you circled it. As long as you had it made a group of 10 and had two still left over. Okay. You might have circled all of these and some of these. It doesn't matter which way you did it. Okay. So now let's see how many we have. We have one, 10, two, three, and this makes four, four tens. How many ones by themselves? two ones. So you should have had the number 42. If we were to write that nice and neat, 
we would show our four tenths, right? Because we had three, but this one made four. How many ones by themselves? Two, right? Forty-two. Forty-two. All right, my first graders. So you are going to practice on your personal math trainer. Be on the lookout for groups of 10 ones when you're doing your adding. Okay, if you see a group of 10, I know we can't circle it on our personal math trainer, but I want you to maybe use a scrap paper if that would help you, or take your finger and just touch it on the screen, okay, so that you can see, hey, that's a group of 10.